In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the determinant by cofactor expansion of a matrix. So to start out, you you got to determine what you want to what the cofactor needs to be, and it can be it can be anything. I mean, you could have it's either going to be a row or a column. You can have do the cofactor expansion by the first row or the first first row or the first column or the second column or the third column or whatever. In this example, let's just do it pretty straightforward by the first row. So the co our cofactor expansion is going to be by the first row. And to determine, you got to know um, we got this this other matrix over here and it's got you got to follow the the pattern here in your cofactor. You got to give your cofactor the either plus or negative sign in front of it. So to start out, let's just let's just solve it right here. So the determinant of A is going to equal, okay, this is where the cofactor comes in. You have a plus 3. So you have a plus 3, and now you have to multiply that by the, um, you're going to do, um, you have, when you have, if you're looking for 3 here, you can ignore this row, or this column, and this row. So you're just looking at the 4, 3, 4, and negative 2. So we put, we'll put that in here, we'll just write this out, and then I'll show you how to solve it. And then, okay, so then we move to the next one, we have a 1, but we have a negative sign here, so it's minus 1, and then we'll also do, we have, you ignore this row and this column, so we have a negative 2, we have a 3, a 5, and a negative 2. And then we go to the next one, we have a plus 0. And with cofactor expansion, zeros are nice because they make things very simple. So we'll, we'll go ahead and write it out, but with that zero there, zero times anything is going to be zero. So we don't necessarily have to write it, but I will just, just for example's sake. So we'll write a negative 2, negative 4, 5, and 4. Okay, then we can go ahead and solve. So we'll just say equals 3, and then with this, with this little matrix here, what you're going to do is you're going to do this, you're going to multiply these two and subtract from that, you're going to subtract this guy from that. So you're going to do, let's just do, it's 4 times um, negative 2, negative 4 times negative 2, so we've got 8, and then we have minus a 4 times 3, which is 12. So you got 3 times 8 minus 12. And then we move on, we have negative m minus 1 times, and then we have, so this is going to be a 4. So we have negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, and that's minus a 15. And then we have plus 0, and this is where the zeros are nice, but we'll, we'll just do it for the sake of doing it. We have a negative 8, and that's minus a negative 20, so it becomes plus 20. And then we just continue solving, and we have, um, that's negative 4. So it, we'll just do 3 times negative 4 minus, this is just a 1, so we can ignore that. It's 4 minus 15 becomes negative 11, so we can just do minus 11. We'll, just, we'll do 1 times 11. And then this is plus 0 times a 12. So if we keep solving, that just becomes negative 12. And, um, crap, this is a, yeah, this is negative 11, my bad. So then that becomes plus 11, and then plus a 0, just plus a 0. So the solution to this is equal to negative 1. So the determinant of A is equal to negative 1. Okay, now let's move on to another example we have. And we can do this different in a different um, row or column on the cofactor expansion. So we have another matrix. And this time, let's go on the second row. So these are going to be our cofactors. And we've got to go along this row. So we doing the same steps. Determinant of B is equal to. So we have a negative 2 is our first cofactor. So negative 2, but then it's a negative. So we're actually going to have 
a positive 2, and then you ignore the column that it's in and the row that it's in. So we have uh, negative 3 is 0, negative 2, 2, and then we have a 4, and that's positive, so it's plus 4, and that's times 1, that's 1, 0, 5, 2. And then we have a 1 here with the minus sign, so it's minus 1 times 1, and then minus 3, ignoring the row, the row and the column, and then we have 5 and negative 2. And then we just go through and solve it like we did in the last one. So we have 2 times, this is going to be negative 3, so let's just write this out, negative 3 um, times 2 minus, that's 2 times 0, negative 2 times 0, plus 4 times um, 1 times 2, 1 times 2 minus 5 times 0. This is a minus, minus 1 times, that's 1 times negative 2, um, minus 5 times negative 3. And then that, simplify that out, it's 2 times negative 6 minus 0, plus 4 times 2 minus 0, and minus 1 times negative 2 plus 15. And keep going. It's 2 times negative 6 um, plus 4 times 2 minus 1 times negative 13, which is equal to negative 12 plus 8 minus 13 which then equals negative 17. So your determinant of B is equal to negative 17. And that is how you solve the determinant of a matrix.